to achieve. That's the word every time when we talk about focus, that's what we are trying to so say. Focus to this, focus to this, focus to this, focus to this. Now, I was talking about on the culture part and I, and when we said, go back to that and we say, number one, openness, single line of communication and make sure you participate in the growth of the company but also grow. Every person in Acer has to think of the career growth and the HR function has to make sure that every individual in the company is growing. We just can't be only looking at the effort that we put for the company. We also have to make sure that there are people who develop in the bargain and are able to do a better job tomorrow than what they were doing today or they were doing yesterday. It's this culture which brings forth this point of what Bhaskar was talking about. This, according to me, is the first initiative the IT industry would have taken ever. The IT industry in India goes back to IT hardware industry, goes back to 78. It all started in 77, 78. DCM Data Products is the first company. So over these 41 years or so, this is the first effort ever done by an IT hardware company to have a structured program being done for skill development so that people can make their career and move towards this. <laughs> Friends, be clear on this particular point. This is not a job that's come to you. It's not a job that you are taking. You're joining here for a career. And if each one of you have about 30, 35 years, 30 to 35 years of, of work to do before you retire out, this is the stepping stone to that 35 years of the career. It's extremely important that you internalize to the what I am telling you. Because if you have come here for a job, I don't think you should waste your time and energy to go through all this. You have the choice to vacate the seat and leave. We're not going to waste time. We are not going to waste energy of the professor who's designed this program for us, who's going to take and spend so many hours of his with us. And then finally it becomes waste. So that's why I'm telling you, if any one of you here, and we are not going to feel bad about it, OK? You want to make a career, sit here. We are together with you for your career for tomorrow. And I, as a head of the company, stand committed to it. But if you have come for one odd job, maybe it's not worth it. So think through on this particular point, and you can take a decision in the next hour, two, or three. For job, you don't need not go through all that that we are going to spend and invest, because this is stage one. This is not the end of, of all that's going to happen. This is the first phase. 
And if you're not aligned internally to this, nothing much is going to happen as we move forward. From an HR perspective, what it means for each one of you of excelling over six months, one year, two years period, then what happens? Today they are, they are on a contract with what? Which channel play? Yeah. You're on a contract with channel play for Acer, exclusively for Acer, right? But next stage, each one of you have to think through to say, when do I join Acer? I don't have a contract with channel play, but I have an appointment letter of Acer. Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes. Come on, guys. It's, it's too difficult to be here and spend your time and energy. The only way the speaker gets motivated is with the energy that when you see the involvement of the people. So if you're taking something away, you got to return that back. And the only way to return it back is by exemplifying the energy, your involvement. If you're going to feel tired as the time progresses, inform professor. I think too much. Let's wait. Let's give it a break. I think he will love that. But let's not just be here when we are physically present but not otherwise. Because the key point again bring you back, my friends, is that this is for your first step towards a career building. And I talked about it saying 55 people started, 41 still happen to be with the company. Some of the others either have retired out or some of them have decided to hang their boots to say, no more IT industry. And Sanjay happens to be one of those 14. 55 minus 41 equal to 14. And one of them is Sanjay Vernave, who left us to be part of, because he loves to, he wants to do something which is on the educational part of it. He didn't go and join another IT hardware company. So that's what we are and we are fairly proud of as far as this point is concerned. And that's what Acer is all about. That's why I say, once in Acer, always in Acer. You just cannot get out. And the reason for that, friends, you may not understand as much at this particular stage of your start day one. But politics and a corporate politics and the stress that it gives you is humongous. And Acer does not allow politics at all. And there is only one reason for that. We have a, so much of an open communication that you can't play one communication with one for, to the other. Before you reach the next person, the next person would be aware of what you communicated to the first person. And we have driven that hard. And it has given us very rich dividends because it gives most of us a stress-free life on the personal front. We may have stress related to the work that we are supposed to do in a particular span of time, but it, it leaves behind the nonsense and the nuisance of handling something which is of no relevance in a corporate world, which is politics. OK? So that's little on as far as the, the Acer part of his concern, because I have very much more to cover, which is relevance to the product, the job that you are going to be, have been interested to do, and what you are going to carry forward from now on. It's crucial for you to know as far as some of those other points are concerned.
Acer is headquartered out of Taiwan. Taiwan, how many of you are aware of Taiwan? Are you aware of Taiwan as a country? Yeah. Where is it situated? Yeah. Southeast Asia. Don't give me, don't give me those jargons, yeah. Southeast Asia, yes, Southeast Asia. Where? Google, Google, Google. No, you don't need to do Google, my friend. In this place, Google is here. Don't worry. For this question, this Google will help you. So first of all, friends, you are, please understand, on one point. OK, let me ask you one question, then we'll come to this. We are all joining and we are, we are part two of the selling process, right? Is selling more difficult or buying? Buying? These ladies are very quiet. Where is my friend from Nepal? Yes. Time zone difference. Are you sleeping or what? OK. Oh, is that so? OK. Yeah. Is selling more difficult or buying more difficult? Buying. Half-hearted buying. I think we're going to have better response on selling, isn't it? So what is more difficult? Selling. Buying. 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 Selling. Buying. There are only two options. Anyway, one of them will be right. Correct? Each one of you, have you sold a product to yourself ever when you're sitting here? Have you sold anything to yourself? Yes or no? What is it that you sold to yourself? Huh? No, no, one second, one second, one second. What is it that you sold to yourself? Huh. What did you sell to yourself? <coughs> Typical classroom. Just to mark my presence, I will just say, yes, 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 yeah. Without really understanding what the question was. And Professor Nair would go through this every day, I don't know how many times. So friends, there's no point unnecessarily again wasting time on, on this. You haven't sold anything to yourself. You are a buyer. You have been a buyer all the time. It's the buying which is the most difficult task. It's not the selling. And there is a reason for that. You sell a product, a product or you sell some products. You don't sell the entire world. You can be a consultant for a product, for some products. Be a product consultant for any and everything which exists in the world. But each one of us during the course of our life, have to buy, have to help people known to us to buy products which are so many. Think for a minute. I'm not going to ask you this question. Just put in your mind of a selling or buying that you did in the last six months. And what all did you do? so as to reach a correct decision of buying a correct product. Just think of it. 
and that very clearly tells very how difficult the job is. With me, it happens every week. Because somebody or the other will always reach out to me thinking that I am in this position with this much of experience, then I must be knowing this and that as well. The two buyings that I have done in the last four weeks, and it's been a nightmare. I wish the responsibility of buying was not given to me. I was better off to be a financer, which means my better half takes the responsibility to buy that for me. I wanted to buy the latest TV. Sanjay says he's about a he's a year younger to me, so he's as many number of years, and he says, "Oh, bahut mushkil hai." Yeah, that's one part of it. But I'm saying, on this QLED, OLED, LG is the pioneer. Brought in QLED. Rest of the guys can't use QLED. Rest of the guys will use OLED. So these days, now the ad that you see of Brevia with the water flowing and and of the dam and all, is a OLED technology. I have spent money, but I still honestly do not know what value it brings to me. Whatever research I had to do, I did it on the Google Baba, which also was not available 20 years back to this this world. But buying was still happening at that time. But the only thing ba Google Baba has done now is that. It's complicated the buying more because there's so much of information which is available. And you get totally confused. Two days back, I wanted to replace my father's mattress. And I'm whatever hairs are left. Some of them have gone actually in the last two days. And I think over one or two days, the rest will all go. Buying a mattress is so difficult. Somebody comes and says, when you consult, the seller tells me and say, for old people, my father is 90 years of age, for old people, make sure that you have Choir plus plus this. Somebody else comes and says, you should have spring, spring, and then a foam, memory foam. That is what will help, because it takes the shape of the body, stress is less, so it doesn't trouble the old people, etc. 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 So let me not bore you guys by, by, by giving you all that I've gone through over the last two days' time. And I still don't know what, what is the right. I have given the money, and I said, to hell with it. I'm out of this issue. Let me concentrate on my job and not on buying a product. Now, if I was to look at these two, and I will tell you a third one, which is of relevance for you guys, was that we wanted to buy some cars for the management team. My co colleagues have the company cars. They go through a change every four years. And we were out. And I have I've learned from you all guys, because I have a daughter who is 32 years, so part of you guys thinking, right? So what is it that you people all believe in doing? Give a surprise, right? Everything is supposed to be a surprise, because it brings in some bit of an excitement around, correct? Isn't it? 
come on guys i'm talking what what you people love right i'm not talking of my age people right so at least now be participative so in the surprise between me and baskar they are the only two people who will know whatever we are doing and this poor guy in the bargain actually goes through the pain of going through each and every car which is available in the country and is likely to be to be be coming what are the specs this that etc 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 so in order to give that surprise which people genuinely have no idea on we don't even let their wives know that what are they being called for so much is the surprise element you know so i've learned this surprise okay so much so that it is expected out of me that i will land to san jose without informing my daughter that i have come to san jose and i call her up and say hey where are you okay and i'm standing outside the door very difficult to handle surprises of this kind right but yes we do as far as those parts are concerned because of the it gives you that excitement right so to cut the story short we were to go for a buying as far as a car is concerned and every car has something or the other which is wow but ultimately we were out to buy one brand car we didn't have the choice of buying 20 of those and saying okay we'll give it one to anyone out of out of that and finally the choice narrowed down to a mercedes so we bought a few e class to these guys and in in bangalore city there are two dealers who sell mercedes akshay motors and sundram now comes the the problem because one guy comes and talks about that product the second guy comes and talks something more about that product or something blah 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 however we finalize to buy from not the cheapest guy we decided to buy the product for a guy who was almost 18 to 20000 rupees higher yes you can turn around and say a product costing 55 lakhs what's 20000 rupees in that right but at the end of it you don't pay even 1 rupee extra you want to give 1 rupee less rather than giving 1 rupee extra right yes or no but we bought from the more expensive sundaram motors why do you think we paid that 20000 extra same same brand my friend same e220 c20 what whatever <laughs> okay e220d mercedes benz made by benz so 2019 model etc 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 right so same product sorry presentation of the car sorry you know all likes all everything put together equal to equal we paid 20000 bucks extra so don't think insurance was not there insurance was here <laughs> right why did we pay 20000 bucks extra for a product which belonged to a brand but we paid it to the dealership how many times would you have bought a product at 10 rupees 5 rupees 100 rupees 300 rupees more expensive have you knowing well that it was available with that guy at the price and i'm paying x rupees more has it happened with you why did you do it behavior of the guy all right that's one what else explanation given from the the person right two what else market demand i didn't understand 
ब्रांड मर्सिडीज सेम प्रोडक्ट्स आफ्टर सेल सर्विस ओके बाय द वे आफ्टर सेल सर्विस मोस्ट ऑफ इट कम्स फ्रॉम द ब्रांड ओके रेपो बिल्डिंग कम ऑन लेडीज यू नॉट कम हियर फॉर नॉट स्पीकिंग एनीथिंग You have never bought anything. Parents have been doing all the buying for you, right? Yes or no? No, but I'm sure you would have gone and bought some shirt or a, or a pant for yourself, right? You would have done that. Yeah. Oof. Prakash Nair, you have a problem. <laughs> That's all that I can tell you, Prof. Not a very participative class. Maybe I think they're taking some time. Maybe it's too early. First one hour. Come on, guys. You're buying every day. I've learned learned surprise element from this set of millennials. I learn from you guys every day. Be louder. Brand, product, same. Where he convinced all the points that you guys have said. There's nothing wrong in every one of them was right. Ah no. Plenty. You read three days back newspaper re report car. Car sales so much down that inventories of every car is huge, among us with every dealer. Nothing to worry on that. Yes. So all this, again, we don't have the luxury of too much of a time, right? So we have to bring it back to because the person with whom we were communicating. Was able to give us honestly answers to all the questions that we were looking for, and many of the answers was, "I don't know, sir. I can come back to you." And he came back to us. in a word he did the job that he was supposed to do she actually in this case she she did her job she was not a sales woman to us we were looking for a consultant and we saw in her a consultant friends this is the job that you are getting into we have not conceptualized you as in store promoters what are the various other names can you read aloud acp isp i don't know god knows how many of these uh, so there are so many naming conventions for this position in the market very confusing but we are very clear as a company this batch of 31 guys once they graduate out will be the product consultants for the time that you work for acer brand and i wish you all the very best for the future I don't tell you to say you will always you will join be in Acer and retire out of Acer. Some of you may move, but don't lose track 
of the learning that you're going to do and practice here. Your career will get built with all this that you carry with you. That's the reason why during the course of this time of three weeks, there has to be so much of participation from you because anything that you learn is yours. If you move on from Acer, you carry it with you. Acer is not going to take it back. And he'll say, all right, guys, return all the learning that you've had, give it there, and then I will give you full and final payment. If a corporate is a pyramid, what do you see? So many people joining at the bottom, right? What happens as we keep growing up? The number keeps reducing. And where does it finally reach? One person. Why should any one of you or all of you not aspire today and take a commitment to say, my life, my career will end there? It's not an easy journey. I have done it myself, so I know. I can say for myself. But if I look back, the only point that I will remember for myself would be that, that every class, every session, every round of discussion that I would have had with my seniors, I would have taken it very, very well in a positive way. I would have learned out of what I was trying to learn. Something is distracting you, Lily. Some, something is distracting. No, no, I want you here. I don't want you here physically. It just puts me, my mind off. Can you imagine the loss that it means? to all the people whose time is going and my time and energy which is going on. Yeah, so make sure that you make a full use of this. And look for the top and don't stop. You can do it. But for that, there's hard labor. And that hard labor is nothing, only one. Every time that we listen to someone, we pick the relevant point out, internalize it, and make ourselves better. Right? Remember one thing in life, which every morning when I get up, I will say, in life there is only one constant, and that's a change. A change is the only constant in life. And you have to continuously change yourself for that. You have to think for tomorrow, you have to think for the day after. In the examples that I gave it to you of the Mercedes Benz, Look at the transformation which is happening as far as the buying behavior of a buyer is concerned. In the past, the only thing that was expected out of a salesperson was to give a discount. Right? Because, as I say, I was taught in my first class 34 years back, giving a discount is no rocket science. So that's what the prof told me. In one of the case studies that we had, it came to that and you naturally buckle up. And he said, hey guys, you don't need to be a rocket scientist to give a discount. Which means it's everybody's job, right? So don't do everybody's job. But what's happening today, 
with so much of information available on the digital platform, with so much of knowledge available with children like you all. We have so much of information which is bouncing off a buyer. What is it that buyer is looking forward to? Is looking forward to only find out, this is my requirement. Please map it up and tell me which product do I buy. That's all. All the, the dealership, all the sales guys, all the product consultants will communicate in cars to say, whatever, 186 BHP, this, that, etc., etc. In eight seconds, 100 kilometers. I just look at that guy and say, when did I drive at 100 kilometers last time in Bangalore? Never. If I drive at 30, 35, 40, wow, that's like going super fast. So who's looking for eight seconds throttle to reach to a speed of 90, 100 or whatever? Irrelevant. So what did I, if I just put that together and that's relevant to your job, and when you do this, this is what you need to. Because this is a clear example where we paid, as I told you, inside news, that we paid 20,000 bucks extra because Bhaskar had to justify as to why did he pay 20,000 over six cars, a lakh and 20,000 rupees extra for the company. He had to write it down to say why did he take that decision. So that the auditor tomorrow knows what were the circumstances. So what is it that we did in that? And what is it that we were looking forward to? We were looking forward to somebody to tell us or ask consultants are the masters. And that's why we want you to be product consultant and not a salesman or a saleswoman. If at any given stage you feel that you're going towards that, push yourself back and come into the zone of consultancy and not on sales. All the very best. God bless you guys.